Hello, my name is Eric. I'm a corporate business headshot specialist with Solera Studios in Houston, Texas. And I'm going to make a video today showing you some of my retouching uh, on one of my business headshots. Specifically, we're going to talk about manipulating this clothing here. We've got quite a number of creases and things going on that need to be addressed. Uh, so let's let's get to it. So we're going to start by manipulating the perimeter of the jacket. I'm just going to take care of the edge area first. We'll push it in some to thin up the arm. Then we have this line, this interior line here. Let's see if we can't compact that a little bit. All right, that's a good start with our lines. Okay. See how that starts to straighten things up. And now we can start working on uh, other distracting lines that we're finding. Like this right here. That's got to go. It looks like I went into the jacket there a little bit. Many different ways I can choose to eliminate these distractions, which is one of the cool things about Photoshop. Is there are so many ways to solve these problems, which means everybody has their own unique style as to how they like to manipulate an image. So they don't all look the same. Okay, so now we have these creases coming down here. Let's take care of those. And should you choose to have your headshot created in my studio, you should know that after your headshots, after your session's done, I'm going to invite you to stay longer with me so you can actually be a part of this retouching process. Uh, this allows my clients to interject and, and make suggestions on changes they would like or to comment if I've gone too far on a certain section. You know, this looks over-retouched. I mean, we've all seen over-retouched images now, and ultimately uh, it's my client who gets to decide if an image has been over-retouched or under-retouched. They get the last say before they leave the studio. Now we're going to end up with some smudge marks here, which I'm going to go back in a bit and camouflage over, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to wait until I'm towards the end of my process here. Otherwise it'll be inefficient. And when somebody's sitting here watching me retouch, I'm sure they've got other things they want to do. I know the importance of their headshot, uh, is vital, but for some, they need to go. They have time constraints. And so I work fast. Now, I won't remove all the creases in the clothing, right? My, my goal is to start with a, a good, solid photograph, improve that image, and then when I'm done, 
it should still look like my client, and nobody should know I've made any changes that I've that have been in the image and have been manipulating it. I should we're shooting for realism here. We're looking for an idealized business headshot. But not overly idealized. I don't want to take it to the point of supermodel, right? Uh, you know, it's going to be 3 a.m. in the morning and somebody's going to look at your profile picture on either a social media page or your company website and 3 o'clock in the morning they're going to have about four seconds to make a determination about you when they look at this image. And so I want few distractions taking me from the face. And if your clothing is not fitting properly or if there's a lot of folds in it, then that can be distracting and needs to be addressed. I try to do as much as I can in camera, right? That's the that's the real goal, right? But at some point you have to start shooting. And it used to be prior to COVID, I would walk up and I would use my pinkies and I would touch clothing or I would touch hair and just move a couple strands of hair so I didn't have to uh, deal with it in Photoshop. But in the days of COVID, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> right? It's I'm trying to take care of everything from behind the camera, verbally instructing my clients what needs to be done to the best of my ability and getting as close as I can to uh, where I want things. But eventually you got to start shooting. The shoot, boy, it doesn't take very long at all. Just doing a simple headshot, a single business headshot. Now, if you do like my midday session, a half day session, or a full day session, there's a lot more shooting involved with that. I offer a half day and a full day session for people who are looking to just completely rebrand. Okay, we're getting here. And Really, essentially what I'm doing here is just making lighter areas darker and darker areas lighter in order to make things protrude and recede. Right? Ultimately, that's the basics of what most retouching is. I kind of call it sculpting. See, so I know I've smudged things up in here. And on the dark color fabric, I sometimes do a little trick to see my retouching better. I may brighten it way up, much brighter than it's supposed to be, which allows me to see the nuance of the changes I've made. You can see this got really wavy in here. I want that smoothed out. And again, I'm going to come back in. I know this all looks very smudgy. I'm going to come back in and add some texture to this to give it a more realistic feel. And normally on my business headshots, I vignette the corners. I mean, I make the corners a little bit darker. So even if it's not perfect in here, I know my vignette is going to come in and tidy things up a little bit more. Right. Before we started this video, I went in and removed a ton of particles of dust everywhere. I wasn't going to bore you <laughs> removing the, the dust. So, you know, some of these we're going to keep. The arm is bent. It needs to stay there to feel realistic. All right, let's remove our tonality adjustment. Although, I may uh, 
brighten it up just a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to go in where this clothing has been distorted. Select it roughly. And then we're going to add something called noise. And if I do this hard, I'm on the wrong layer. There we go. There. If I rock it hard, you can see it's not what we're looking for, but we don't need much. And just a little bit, and it's going to start to match the texture of that jacket. Ooh. That looks good. So begin to start camouflaging that work. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. If you're interested in having me create a business headshot, please visit my website at solarastudios.com. On the top of any page, you'll find the book now button. That will show you my schedule and my pricing. It's all transparent and out in the open. Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe.